what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Question. What hums flies above 30,000 feet? and cost as much as a Renaissance villa overlooking Florence, Italy. You guessed it. Donald Trump's airplane refrigerators. This is according to the government, y'all. The Trump administration has signed a $24 million contract with Boeing to replace two food chilling systems aboard Air Force One, the president's plane, according to reports. The systems are two of five chillers aboard Air Force One, which must be equipped with a refrigeration capacity to handle 3,000 meals according to military specifications. That's enough to feed Trump's 50 closest friends for three weeks. That's assuming that Trump don't indulge in his daily diet of cheeseburgers. That's a lot of money, man, for a couple of refrigerators, right? That's a lot of money. Now, as y'all remember, Donald Trump rolled Obama about his spending habits. I do recall one tweet that he sent out about Boeing. This is when Boeing announced that it would build future president's planes at a cost of $4 billion. He caused Boeing's stock to go down when he attacked it. So on one hand, he says Boeing spends too much money on planes. And then on the other hand, he approves $24 million that Boeing is charging U.S. taxpayers for his refrigerator coolers. Talk to me, y'all. Talk to me. What's going on? Is this the very definition of hypocrisy or what? This dude has no shame. He has no shame whatsoever. Man, with that kind of money, $24 million, you could get Puffity to show up for 25 parties or 24 parties for the next 24 years. The annual, your, your annual bash, P. Diddy, featuring P. Diddy, 24 times. Donald Trump, man, that's a lot of money, man. But it's only money, the way he said it, it's only money because it's not his money. It's just the taxpayer's money. No big deal. This dude is laughing all the way to the bank. All of these people talking about Donald Trump going to save us money. Where's the savings, man? I'm looking for it. Where is it? As Trump and the GOP attack the Democrats and the FBI, and the CIA and the shithole countries. Behind the scenes, they're laughing their asses off. They're laughing, high-fiving, and having cheeseburgers and Coca-Cola toast. Where you at, Trump supporters? Where your savings at? Where your big jobs, where your big income increases at? Where is the racial harmony? That's what I want to see. Since y'all talked about Obama making race relations worse than they've ever been, even worse than slavery. <laughs> I don't even know if these people even hear themselves when they talk. I don't, I don't even know if they have ears or even if they even think. You know, it's just hard to imagine somebody being that dumb where they don't really realize what they're saying, right? 
Donald Trump, he's the worst of the worst. I've said it before, I'll say it again. As he and the Republicans publicly criticize the Democrats, the FBI, the CIA, so-called shithole countries, privately, they're celebrating. They're high-fiving. They're having cheeseburgers and Coca-Cola toast. Get off Donald Trump's jockstrap. Ain't no such thing as draining the swamp. He can't drain the swamp because Trump is the swamp. No more talk.